last season on Dance Moms, I produced amazing, employable dancers. I produced stars. Abby is going to make my daughter the best she can be. First place. <laughs> my job to make sure all those little things are taken care of so that she can be the star that she needs to be on stage. I'm very proud of my daughters. A lot of times don't show me that they appreciate it. Abby can be tough. I think she produces excellent dancers, but she demands a lot. Arms, hop up! I want it strong! Take your kid, take your socks, find another school. Your daughter is holding a national title and I will take it away in a minute! Everyone's replaceable. All this training, all this competing is about the nationals. Winner! This is my beauty. Shining stars, you're my stars. This time, every girl's gonna come home with a crown on their head. One, two, three. We are competition season with a very open mind and I'm not gonna have any negative thoughts I'm thinking very positive how's it going where's Holly Nia where's your mother She's out. not gonna happen yes she needs to leave work leave the job forget it and be here with you that's what's important yes you want this I know you want it I know you love it she has to love it for you when all the moms are there and one isn't, I think Nia feels badly. So I feel bad for the kid and I get angry with the mother. If you're going to do this and all the other mothers are there, be there. Now, first of all, you're national champions. It was a great competition at Starbound in Lake Tahoe. That's something to be very proud of. Then we got to LA, we did a video. People know who you are now from watching that video. But you're a target. When you walk in, it's gonna be all about beating the Abby Lee Dance Company. Brand new season for the Abby Lee Dance Company, but everybody is after them. Everybody wants to see them fail. We all know that Kathy's not here because Kathy wasn't a team player. Where did that get Vivian? Nowhere. I'm gonna have an open audition, a casting call for a new dancer for the Abby Lee Dance Company. Definitely nervous that there could be more than one replacement at the audition. I mean, my kids are always at the bottom, and you know, I'm constantly fighting with Abby. I mean, how do I not know that she's not replacing my kids? Tell everybody you know that we're looking for a new girl for this group. Maybe two new girls. Everyone's replaceable. Are you next? Everyone's replaceable. We know. We've heard. So are you. First, Mackenzie. You can't sit on the couch and eat chips. You're not six and under, you're seven and over. And I expected the same thing from you as Maddie did when she was seven. Next, Brooke. Brooke, why are you on the bottom of this pyramid? You had a great season, but then you took a break. You didn't show up to class. Paige, same thing. You can't take a vacation. New rule, dancing year round. Nia, you want to win a title. It's all about a title. Every time I talk to your mother, it gets back to the title. Your mother could care less about you winning a title. She's not even here. I'm the one who needs to be there all the time, not my mom, because she has to work and stuff, and she's not a dancer. Chloe, you're in the video. It's like summer. It's a brand new day. People recognize you wherever you go now. That's pressure. Here's our girls with their first professional job. My daughter gets the leap and she can't make it to the top of that damn pyramid. And Maddie, you're on the top of the pyramid because you won a national title. Maddie, Chloe, Nia, you're going to be doing solos. Now, Maddie, it's not going to be an easy win. It's nine and up, and you're on the young side of the age. I'm really not that nervous moving up to the higher age group. I don't really care if I have a hard competition just as long as I'm dancing. This weekend, we will be attending dance troops in Greensboro, North Carolina. And we're gonna do a new number called Sassy Dolls. We have one week to the competition and we don't have a routine yet. 
We're starting from scratch right now. This is gonna be crazy, all right? Moms, I'm gonna dismiss you. Girls, we are the reigning national winners. These girls need to keep their eyes on the title. It's difficult to get on top and to become that winner, but it's even tougher to stay on top. And that's my goal for them this year. We wanna dominate at those competitions. They are going to be the best. They are forced to be reckoned with, and everybody knows it. The group number is called Sassy Dolls. They're like almost space cadets. It's a hot, high energy jazz routine. Peasants and judges! Where's this hand? Well, I think it's funny that it doesn't matter that, like, Chloe got the job in the video, she's still not good enough to be at the top of the pyramid. Oh, please, mine are at the bottom. I know. This hand, ladies, left hand. Is it on the small of the back? Is it a baton twirler? Is it a fist? Everybody's doing something different. But what bothers me is that none of you have the insight to raise your hand and ask what it's supposed to do. Wake up! Do you want to be the dance captain or do you want to be the one walking out of the audition because you got cut? So take it from there, right there. Come over here and do the walks. I don't know. I think it's going to be interesting, open auditions. I think it's going to be weird having somebody else in the group. Let's all say a little prayer that they're not like Kathy. Come on, guys, let's go. We got lots to do. Things have been really good at Candy Apples Dance Center. We've got a lot of projects that we've been working on, and we're actually going to start our competition season a little bit earlier this year. Go! Oh, my God. You're hiking her up like she's a sack of potatoes. There's a couple big competitions coming up. We have a couple scores that we have to settle. And when the dance moms from Abby Lee Dance Center see us, as well as Abby, they are going to be blown away. Vivi went to study with Abby Lee. They did something that was kind of unique. It was a pyramid. And it was kind of a negative pyramid. And it was a big, huge dissension about who was always going to be at the top. Well, we're going to do a pyramid. There's going to be somebody that's at the top every time we go to compete. And that person is the person that will be having a solo at that said competition. And the first person that we have on our pyramid is Miss Vivi. Then we have Sarah. Then we have Carissa. Then we've got Taylor and Sir Justice. Leading us into candy apple battle is Erica. Since Erica's doing a solo, she will be at the top of the pyramid, and you'll all have an opportunity to be at the top of the pyramid. Let's go. Let's get ready. Let's do some rehearsing, OK? We've got talent, and we've got heart and soul, and we are determined that we want to make sure that Abby has heard us roar. Nia, are you in front of Brooke? Are you behind Brooke? Are you next to Brooke? What are you doing? You're all over the place. I don't know who she was. Oh, I Nia. I felt so bad for it's her. It's not Nia's fault no, her mom has to not. work. Hello. How's everything going? Hi. I spoke to Christy. She told me that Abby was being harsh, that she was being unreasonable, that she even threatened to replace Nia. How did the whole thing turn out? I'm a little concerned. She's getting a solo this weekend, and you're not going to be there. Are you so. not able to go at all? No. I was in that pyramid. I'm the adult. Nia has no control over me. And there was no need for Abby to be harsh or to take it out on Nia because I wasn't present for a pyramid. Here you are. Yes. Just checking in to see if everything's OK between us, because it doesn't sound like no. it is. The parents were required to be here today. Here, I think moms who don't work probably have a more flexible schedule. But you know that I work, so I, I cannot. If you cared and you want to speak your opinion, you be here at the meetings. I can't believe this is starting already again. Abby, let's not go there once again. You need to be here. I feel right now that I care more about Nia's success than you do. No, well, your not. husband was here. He walked right in well, the door. Why didn't he stay? Abby, if you My want... dad even took me to the mother-daughter talk about getting your period. My dad took me because my mother was at work. Oh, my God, she's talking about a period? <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with anything? Figure it out, because you know what? Abby. The kid needs somebody. Was I? She's not that swift. How dare you? She's how, not. How dare you? She needs you? help. She needs you to be here. Oh, Abby. She needs people to take notes. Abby. <gasps> you think you're up Abby? here because you have a doctorate and everybody else is That's down here. That's your problem, Abby. You are intimidated by me because I don't have a doctorate. Bull. Oh, Abby, don't be ignorant. Please. That's it. No.
it to the competition this weekend because I have to work. It is extremely difficult to bring myself to tell Nia that I'm not going to be able to make it. This is the deal. This weekend, I have to work. Anything Are you else? positive that you can't miss work for one day? I am very positive. That makes me really sad. Me too. Kind of sad because finally dances that I actually like and my mom can't be there for them. But I will talk to her and I will make it very clear to her that she has an issue with my not being there. She talks to me about it. So even though mommy's not there, mommy is there. Okay. And I will make that very clear to Miss Abby. I am so frustrated right now. I don't know if I want to stay, continue, and be a part of this team. She's working 110%. She's giving her all. She loves this place, and that's not good enough for Abby. This is the open call audition day to replace Vivian. And I am just thrilled that so many people are turning out. There's a line around the building. Hi, everybody. Hi. Thank you for coming. I'm looking forward to seeing some amazing talent in there today. Break a leg, everybody. You all realize why you're here. You're auditioning for a spot on the Abby Lee Dance Company's competition team. It is not to be taken lightly. We're here to audition. I really can't believe that we have to audition. We've been here for four years. And I think it's, you know, ridiculous that we have to wait in this line with all these people. They're all strangers. She should just be in the group. This is it. Dance for your life. My eyes are roaming the classroom. Seven, eight, nine, here we go. I'm going to let you go. 478, you're done. 276, you're done. I immediately took notice of about five dancers. That would be a nice fit. Now I need to see them jump. I need to see them turn. I need to see them kick. Come on, girls. Give it to me. That's not enough right now. Around at all the moms, it was weird to picture any of them being part of our group. I mean, we're such a close knit group, and just to let an outsider in is going to be really hard. All right. I'm a little worried about the new mom joining the group just because I'm constantly looking over my shoulder with Melissa, and if I've got another one, I can only look one way at a time. Next group, let's go. You need a kid that's really going to fit in with the chemistry of the group. 495, you can go, thank you. Stay, you can go. They can't be too old, they can't be too young. I don't want another Mackenzie whining. I don't want another Brooke brooding. I need someone that's the right fit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Put my little baby up there. Face directly to the back. Good Lord, it's like they're like at a cattle auction. As you know, we were looking for one person. 230, 201. 479, step forward. Peyton, you know I love you. You're just not right for this particular competition team, so I have to let you go. It's just not fair. I think Peyton was just too tall. And I know you don't want to hear that, but... Well, then put her on it some other way. <sighs> Relieved? 201. 479. Sadly, I have to let you go. Thank you very much. 230. Congratulations! Congratulations! Excited. Congratulations! I was so excited for Kendall. All of her hard work had paid off. And I know what she's going to do with this team. And I know that they're going to love her. This is a legacy that you're joining. She is now one of Abby's kids. I am Kendall, I'm eight years old, and I just really believe in myself that I can show Abby what I can do. I think I'm worthy to be a part of the Abby Lee Dance Company. This is a tight-knit group, and I'm not gonna tell you that it's gonna be easy. You're on probation for the first several weeks, and mom, there's a competition this weekend. She has three days to prepare. I chose Kendall because she has great potential. She was the right look. She's a cute little girl. She fit in well with the kids. Thank you, you're all dismissed. I will see you bright and early tomorrow for rehearsal, okay? Thank you, thank you all. Jill. Um, 
She's gonna come in tomorrow. I need her for a private right after school. I'm gonna teach her a solo, and then I'll be here to have her a private. Thank you. All right. Hey, by the way, congratulations Thanks. again. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Hi. Um, I just need you to explain a few things to me. I don't understand. No, 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 no. Cat pain. Why cat pain? She's just too tall. But come on, find, you're Abby Lee Miller. Find a spot for her. She didn't make it for the first cut. She, she just doesn't fit she, into that team. She looks too why old. Why not? Isn't she it about dances what you very can do? mature. I spend tons of money, and you I know, know what? What? you're a very good customer. I'm not dumbing that. The kid was great. Well, then tell me. I told what her she was great. What is it going to take? You'd have to cut her in half. She's it through puberty. It doesn't matter. You should find her a spot. Are you bringing these strangers? Those three girls left after you cut her with the strangers. Well, you don't know what they're like. You don't know what that. Wait, is the one gonna come from Ohio? You have no idea what these people are gonna do for you. Leslie! I do everything for you. Leslie. What? Calm down. Bull crap. I do everything right. You need to go home and rethink this. Try to sleep on your pillow and think about what you did to me and to Peyton tonight. Leslie. No, Peyton is too old to dance with those little kids. Finer spot, Abby. Finer spot. Everybody's solos today. I'm rehearsing the group number today, and nobody's leaving early, and nobody's coming in late. They're all gonna be here, and I don't care if their feet are bleeding. Maddie is doing a musical theater number called Jubilation. It's about a young girl whose dreams come true when she lands a spot on Broadway. This is gonna be one tough year for Maddie. She is now competing nine and over. Star, diva. There's kids that I know that are 10, 11, and 12 who will make mincemeat out of her. All right, let's see it. Nia's doing a routine. Uh, the music is based on the Broadway show Once on this Island. It's very tropical. She looks beautiful in the costume. And it's simple. She does a lot of acrobatics. I don't want any trouble with your mother. This is not an ethnic dance. Holly, once again, no show. I'm sick and tired of hearing Holly's mouth about the ethnic routines, and I don't want to hear the mother anymore. And ta 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 You can look side, side. Chloe is doing a musical theater number called Dreams. This music is perfect for her because she has big dreams, but she's going to have to do a lot of work to make those dreams come true. Chloe has gained a lot of recognition from the music video. Frankly, I think it's getting to her head a little bit. What that kid doesn't understand is all eyes are on her. Everybody's going to be watching for her to make a mistake. How about our new BFF, Jill? Is she coming? Yeah, I'm sure she'll be here. Probably going to be here with a big gift for Abby. <laughs> I think she's very nice. Um, and I, I don't know her, so I'm You also thought Kathy was nice, so what's your uh, judge of character? I like you guys, but I don't want to be your cheerleaders. I'm just trying to give her the benefit of the doubt, but um, somebody said they quit from where they were dancing. There was like three people that quit because of her. Melissa says that people have told her that Jill is like a crazy dance mom and that she's heard nothing good about her. A couple people said to me, isn't it funny how she wormed her way in here after your kids got a music video and the next day I walk in and here she was, like taking classes and coming for this audition. Yep. So your reputation precedes you. Kelly and Christy already have their guard up and they're ready saying, we think that Jill is going to be a problem in our group. Um, I'm kind of thinking the same way, but I'm trying not to judge her. I'm trying to give her a chance. And I certainly don't trust people who are like overly nice, overly accommodating, sweet, nice. Like, cause nobody's really that nice. Sir, I mean, I, I'm just... I think her main thing was- Hi. How are you? Hello. Hello. Your Happy first day. day. So my first day. I'm Jill. Christy. So nice, nice to, to meet, meet you, you Christy. I'm Melissa. I'm Melissa. I love Jill's voice. I think it's very 900 number. Tight, cut under! Cut under! Downstage! This little girl, Kendall, is getting the biggest break of her life she's ever gonna get. And so is that mother. I am going to put Kendall in the competition doing a solo so that I can see what she looks like on stage. I'm gonna put the pressure on that kid and see if she sinks or swims. Then you're gonna take a giant step with your right foot out and drag and throw those arms up in the air. <sighs> I'm pretty sure Kendall's gonna be able to hang. And we came from a studio from about an hour. I live locally. But so. what made you, like, I mean, you've been driving for years and 
this is close. Why didn't you come here before? Honestly, I never heard great things about Abby. I feel this tension between Christy and I. I would think she could be a little more welcoming. Um, we always beat your studio when we went places. Yeah. You think? Absolutely. Yeah. Chloe and Maddie have gone head to head with Kendall and they beat her. When? Last year. Well, Kendall's see, come you're a long so way. See, I told you. Yeah, she has her stuff. We've all come a long way. Yeah, we've come a long way. I and wasn't there. It I is there. about the win because let's face it, we're all here to, to win. Christy brings up that Maddie and Chloe had both beaten Kendall at one point. So she must feel a little threatened by Kendall to even bring that up. I don't care what they think. There's a million Chloe Maddie pages out there. But guess what? Kendall's here and she's staying. Hey, Peanut. What do you think? I like it's it. great. You look great. I think Jill is the queen of the stage moms. And like the whole Melissa Jill thing, like they're either going to team up together or they're going to be like two beta fish and kill each other. to take smaller steps. Turn those feet up! Well, I wanted a prop, so I asked Melissa to make the prop because Mackenzie uses the prop. I wanted it to look like the plastic box that the doll comes in. Work it, Mackenzie, bigger! The competition is tomorrow. We are leaving tomorrow, and I'm still fixing choreography. This is ridiculous. These kids need to learn these numbers and know it perfectly. Why is Brooke upstairs? She was supposed to get a drink and come back in. Here. Stop writing all over your hands. Attack. Oh, she made her cry. She's a bitch. We're in the final rehearsal the night before we leave, and Brooke just starts to cry. She looks like a six year old. Whether it takes two hours or four hours, I don't care. If you're part of this team, you're staying until the routine is clean. I can't for the life of me think of why my kids come to this studio and why I bring them here. Mm -hmm. Paige has been yelled at since the second I walked in the door, and now my other daughter's getting yelled at because she has writing on her hands. Why do I come here? She's thinking, this is why I want to quit dance. Everybody's dismissed. Brooke, get over here. Brooke. She's leaving? Yes. She didn't try her costume on. Well, she was supposed to be done at 6.30. We're over what time we were, like, rehearsal was, so. And then Kelly goes, but your rehearsal's running late. Abby, you're wrong. You're the oldest one in the group. You're the role model. And I don't need five other kids crying. Yes? Why are you yelling at her about her hands, though? Yeah. You about that? You know what, Abby? She's a teenager. She has writing on her hand. I mean, whose place is it of yours to tell her what she's allowed to do? No one's, and it's not my place to tell your kids to get their feet off the furniture either. So I'm not going to do it anymore. Well, don't. Right, you I teach them at home. Yeah, teach them at home. Fine. Kelly's not teaching her kids to act like responsible young adults. Everyone's replaceable. Costumes aren't rhinestone, the props aren't finished, and I was worried sick because there was a snowstorm. Oh. I'm really disappointed that I'm going to miss Nia solo and this group member called Sassy Dolls. I want Nia to focus on the competition and not let my absence be a distraction. Mommy won't be there, but you have lots of other mommies who are going to take yep. care of you. I'm kind of sad that my mom can't be at the competition. I just have to deal with it. Good luck. Yes. Y'all have a great time. Yes. I didn't want her to see me cry. It was important for Nia to know that I believed in her and that I knew she was going to do amazing things. Go ahead, go to your friends. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. If you disappoint Abby, she can hold a grudge. And she always tells us that everyone's replaceable. Sorry. I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry, but I have to tell you that I'm not coming. I'm trusting Mia with you. We, I know. Okay, so, but I know she's gonna do well. She wants to do it for the team, so.
be with me. She used to get out of the car to talk to me. I had to talk to her through a window. She would not give me the courtesy of having a civilized conversation, and she was done. Holly always has something else to do, and I've had it with her. It's never about Nia. It's always about Holly. for letting us in on your family. I bought Abby a gift as a token of my appreciation, and I wanted to give it to her in front of all the other moms because I want them to know that I'm serious about this. What is it? Perfume and... It's the Chanel and the... Is and that the, the that's Joe number the five? That's it. Jill pulls out a gift for Abby. I wanted to die. I was like, oh, my God, here's another Melissa. <laughs> gift giver. <laughs> Thank you. I would give Abby a three-month trial membership to Weight Watchers if I were to give her a gift. It's the gift that we keep on giving. Girls, come on, let's go! Here we are at Dance Troupe in Greensboro, North Carolina. Let's go, check it out. And there is some amazing talent here. I'm excited to see what's going to happen on stage. Oh, I want to get this on really quick. We'll start with your eyes. All right, now listen. You just shot the music video. People recognize you. They know who you are. Do not go out there and forget your dance. Do not let it happen. Keep dancing. It's very hard to keep Abby out of your head. Like when I'm at the mall, sometimes I'll hear, like, Abby out of nowhere. Now, Kendall, remember, you are still on probation. What you do out there today counts. Yes? I'm not really sure what probation means. I think she keeps saying probation, just she wants me to bring it. But I'm prepared to go on stage and bring it. New age group, nine and up. Do not disappoint me. Get out there and do what you were trained to do. All right, are we ready? Game faces. It's not hard dancing against older girls. But I'm not intimidated by anyone. I'm not nervous at all. I'm totally confident, and I'm ready to compete. Now we'd like to welcome to the stage contestant number 65. Welcome, Maddie. She really told the story with her face. There's this part where she does about stealing the scene, and she really did it well. She certainly was the star of the show. confident with my dance. I had a lot of applause and I felt good. This was contestant number 44, Caitlin. Up next we have contestant number 84. Welcome Chloe. I got a wish that's only mine. I got a wish that might seem dull to you. I'm gonna wish as hard as I can. Let me tell you, I wanna tell it to the trees. Put back to me, I'm gonna wish as hard as I can. Yeah, when well, the wishes for fishes to see what we fill up with a million and I'm on stage dancing, it feels like what I was meant to do and what I love doing. It feels like I'm just being what I want to be a dancer. Good. She was confident, but there's a big turn section that she does, and she goes to the floor, and she wasn't spotting the right direction. She could have done it better, but she covered it. I was very nervous before I got on stage. It was really scary because my mom wasn't there. Next is contestant number 85. To
I think I did pretty well when I got off stage. I thought it was like the best show I ever done. <laughs> Yay! Now, mommy, you did it. The kid looked beautiful. I was proud that she stayed on the music. She covered the ending. She did a nice job. Up next, we have contestant number 81 in the performance of Bring On The Boys from Studio Code 513. Welcome, Kendall. <laughs> Jill was talking, I expected Kendall to be this amazing dancer. She was a good dancer, but no comparison to Maddie or Chloe. Before I went on stage, I was hearing Abby's voice telling me all the corrections and all the changes, but I know I can do this. Gorgeous in her costume, but the face wasn't there. The kid was a nervous wreck. Were you nervous? Sort of. Okay. Kendall was really nervous at the competition. Here she's known these girls for three days. She gets a new solo. She really wants to do well for Abby. Are we ready for awards? This is performance in fourth place, number 85. We have one small girl. I got fourth place in my category and really happy for that. Things ended up okay without mom. I really hope I win first. I don't want to let my fans down. And in first place, junior age division, our overall awards goes to number 84. Each category, I got first overall, and I was really excited and happy because it's the first solo of the new dance season, and it just felt really good to start off on a good note. And rounding out our pre junior category in first place, number 65, star of the show, Abby Lee Dance Company. Chloe and I had a very high score on our solo, and we beat some 16 year olds, and I thought that was a very good achievement for us, too. We need to get ready for the group dance. Let's go. Kendall, you need to watch your distended neck. You need to pull it back. I just want to know what your thoughts were on Kendall. I don't know. The probation thing, I don't want you to, like, hold her on that one performance where I she had three days to learn the number. This is what this is all about. Her she worries. passed that test. I guess that's my question. I, I don't want to be on probation. I want to be part of the team. I want my daughter to be a part of the team. I want to get rid of this probation crap and move on. I said she has to prove herself. She's mm -hmm. going to keep on proving herself. Everything is going to be a test. I'm sort of sad. I think I'm going to be on probation for pretty long. OK. I'm not prepared. You were prepared, honey. You had a couple days to prepare. Hello. You were. Are you crying? No. No tears. You save those tears for your pillow in your room alone. You're going to humiliate yourself in front of everyone in this dressing room. Do not okay. cry. Suck it up, kid. You're here. You're healthy. You are one lucky little girl. Act like it. What I saw from Kendall disappointed me. She didn't blow me out of the water. I, I was expecting this kid to come out there and have the whole package, and she didn't. So she's still on probation. Better. You know, this was the first time out. It was the first competition of the new season. You're a little rusty out there. All of you are too old to be cute, even Mackenzie. The girls did great on their solos, but now it's time for the group number. And we all know it's a lot harder to dance together as a group than it is to dance alone by yourself. This is the first time you've been on stage since the big national win. Do you understand that? 
You can't go from up here to down here in one performance. Guys, you're next. We need you. Let's go. I think there's a lot of pressure on me and the other girls because we just won a national title. So we need to keep winning to win another national title. For this number, I'm stuck in a box and I can't get out. I finally get out of the box when the girls come up and find me and get me out of the box. They danced so so. All together, I think we did a really good job because everyone was really acting like a doll. So I think we did good. Second place. in North Carolina because they won. Is it good enough for me? No. Is it ever going to be good enough for me? Probably not. Girls, you have to get it together. I said no more sloppy groups. And you know what? Brooke, you're too old to be cute. You're right in the front before the whole side area section looking across at Chloe to see what to do. I was just a little bit nervous that I was on the wrong count. Every once in a while, I would look at, out at Chloe. Nia, you were not even dancing. You didn't even know where you were on stage. If you don't want a group dance, we can just come and do the solos. It'll save a lot of rehearsal time if we don't need a group. Abby comes in and she reams out our girls for being sloppy on stage, and the number wins first place. Back to the drawing board. New number, starting tomorrow. You're the one that wants them to learn a new dance every three days. Everybody else out there, I can guarantee you, have been doing their numbers more than three days. How come I'm the only one that gets aggravated? Because you're the you only know. one that hasn't had a child. No, but I had a mother and a father, and if they looked at me one time, I knew. One look. So I'm telling you right now, it's 4.30 to 9.30, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Plan on it. I'm allowed to say the routine wasn't good. Most parents value my opinion more than the three judges. Whatever, Abby. I was so frustrated. I'm just not the kind of person that's going to sit back and shut up. No. I don't have to pay on time. I'm Kelly Highland. I've been no. here for 30 years. I always paid the whole year up front. Because I'll show you my Discover card payment that shows for the past 10 years I've paid you're you You're the reason in I don't full. even take Discover anymore. Kelly, go get a job. Oh, don't even go there, you whore. Oh, you are a whore. So welcome, Jill. Sorry. Welcome. Kendall has never experienced that kind of behavior from adults. And I don't know why they let it get to that level. Does that happen, like, all the time? It, it does. Why do they get that heated? Why does it go so I far? Know, I mean, my god, Abby and Kelly? Don't ever trust Kelly or Christy. They'll stab you in the back as quickly as they can. They do it to me all the time. These moms are crazy. If they ever pull that stuff on me, they're going to see a whole other side of Jill. It seems like the only person I can connect with right now is Melissa. 
I think I can trust her. If they ever come after me like that, verbally, I'll stick up for you. Please help okay, me out. I will. You need that. Well, thank you. This season on Dance Moms, suck it up. I don't want to see those tears. We are headed to Columbus, Ohio. You know who lives in Ohio? Candy Apple! This season, Abby's taking the gloves off. to take your cheap dress. My dress is not cheap and yeah. Be gone, bitch. You have no powers here. I can't win with these moms. It's going to get worse. I really don't care. He deserves that spot before Kendall. She's bigger than that part. You have a solo coming up. Let's pull it. Move along. <laughs> you guys never so, support Maddie. Because it's obvious Maddie does great. I just love her more than anybody. I'm let my kids do this. Sick of these damn This is good.